Hey guys, what's good? Rising Phoenix One. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at. Hey, this promo reveal is presented by the EA Creator Network. All right, so here we go. We have the conference finals promo dropping tomorrow on Friday. And what it tells us is we're going to play through conference finals by collecting Western Conference points and Eastern Conference points in events to earn Western Conference and Eastern Conference players Turn the 93 Western Conference and Eastern Conference players into the sets to earn 99 overall masters. So we have at center finesse game style with a gold, presumably, position rebounding boost Dwight Powell from the Mavs. A power power forward with a gold position shooting boost Andrew Wiggins from the Warriors. Then we have a power shooting guard, Marcus Smart, with a gold inside scoring boost. And of course, Marcus Smart is from the Celtics. And then from the Heat, still not used to seeing Kyle Lowry in a Heat uniform. But anyway, it's Kyle Lowry with a gold shooting boost at point guard. And he is a strategic game style. And then we get to our Grandmaster 101, Clay Thompson in style select with an elite inside scoring boost. So we're gonna be turning in all four 99 Western and Eastern Conference Masters and sets to select 101 Clay Thompson in our preferred game style. Get offers in the store to help you earn 101 overall Clay Thompson. And based on past times that this template or format has been used, uh, even though it doesn't say it, we will get the four 99s back when we claim 101 Clay Thompson. So we're moving on to the stats real quick. We're not going to take time to analyze them in detail, but this is Clay. And of course, he has a very good perimeter shooting game, good inside scoring, and then his defense looks pretty good as well. And that's a classic Clay card, right? This is a classic Clay card. But that 103 three pointer sure has my attention. All right, moving on to Dwight Powell. And again, he has a gold rebounding boost that is supposed to be to position. We'll see when it's in game. And, you know, not the greatest stats here for a center, in my opinion. The rebounding is low, the inside scoring is all right, um, but the athleticism is pretty weak. He sort of has some decent defensive stats, and really that's about it for this Dwight Powell card. Next up is the 99 overall Andrew Wiggins at power forward, and again, he has the gold shooting boost. His athleticism stats are, you know, pretty decent. Rebounding is, you know, just okay to kind of low for a power forward. Inside offensive game is all right. Uh, perimeter shooting is good. Um, I'm a little disappointed though with some of these stats, especially the three-pointer. Um, Andrew Wiggins cards are usually pretty solid. So hopefully this card will shoot with a decent boost. And then we get to his defense, 98 on ball, you know, 93, 95. And then that's about it for Andrew Wiggins. Next up from the Celtics, Marcus Smart and he is a power game style shooting guard with an inside scoring boost. And here again, you know, the athleticism stats aren't very impressive for a 99. His uh, inside scoring is all right, but not spectacular. His perimeter shooting looks pretty dang good with a 96.3 and a 98 touch. I like that combination. 91 on ball, 92 steal, 91 hands on perimeter interception. Yeah, these seem a little bit low for the defensive player of the year, right? And that's really, really about it for Marcus Smart. Takes us to Kyle Lowry. He has that gold shooting boost. And here we go. Um, his athleticism stats, they're, they're pretty decent. His inside scoring game is just fine, except for that really low dunk. His perimeter shooting looks pretty good. Defense looks okay. Uh, playmaking stats look pretty good. And that's it for Kyle Lowry, a strategic point guard. So here we go to the map, and we all know what this is. 
This is Duncan Spice Latte. This is Naughty or Nice. This is Front Court, Back Court. And this is good news as far as I'm concerned. Um, this one is pretty friendly to No Money Spent as well as to spenders. And No Money Spent can definitely count on getting the 91 Grand Master Clay Thompson. What you're gonna do is you're gonna claim a Western Conference or Eastern Conference center to unlock the respective Western Conference or Eastern Conference events. Western Conference would appear to be the red and the Eastern Conference would appear to be the blue. Here we see we play the Western Conference events to earn Western Conference players and Western Conference points to work our way towards 99 Western Conference Masters, and that's Wiggins and Powell. And the exact same thing on the Eastern side, except our Masters are Marcus Smart and Kyle Lowry. So we're gonna choose our Master here. We're either gonna choose the East or the West. We're gonna earn all five of the 93 Western Conference players, or all five of the Eastern Conference players, we're gonna turn them into sets. We'll look at those in a second. For a select of the respective 99 overall Western Conference or Eastern Conference Masters. So remember on this one, whichever one you claim first, let's say you claim the red, the West, um, that's gonna unlock the events on that side. It is not going to unlock the events on the other side. And then we're going to turn in all four 99 overall Western and Eastern Conference Masters for a select of 101 Grandmaster Clay Thompson in our own chosen style select. Here's the free claim that we're going to have when we first jump into the event. So you either pick the Eastern Conference player or the Western Conference player, and that will unlock the respective Eastern or Western Conference events. Here we've got the sets. These are the Western Conference sets. So you're gonna use four any old cards, 79 to 87, to give you a certain amount of points. This is the lower amount of points. The symbol indicates it's repeatable. Honestly, I don't recall if this repeats twice a day or three times a day. And then we have the large Western Conference exchange and this will definitely be once a day. And this is obviously just to get points to progress in the Western Conference milestones. All right, and so here is a way to get the 93s we need to get to get the 99s. And we're gonna get them with 96 of them. And that's gonna give us a select of the 93s. And then we need five specific 93s in order to claim either Wiggins or Powell. And of course, this is repeatable. Now we're moving on to the small Eastern Conference Exchange, which is the same as the Western Conference Exchange. The large is the same as the uh, Western Conference Exchange. And this is all the same. You're gonna use 90s to get 93s, and you're gonna use the 93s to claim the 99s, all right? This is a wild card set. So you're gonna be getting these finals tokens 30 tokens will give you a select of these 95s. So this is one way you can unlock the other side of the vent. When you initially take your player claim, let's say you unlock the West. When you claim this one, take Hondo, take the Celtics player, and that will unlock the East Coast events. You wanna get both sides of the event unlocked as soon as possible. And then here we've got all four of the 99s going in for clay. And again, based on past times with this promo, even though it doesn't specifically say it, you're gonna get these four 99s back. So we're going back to the map and here we have the milestones. The Western Conference and Eastern Conference milestones are separate, but identical. And you can see when you get to the second milestone at 5,000, you're gonna get another 93 player select. And if you can grab any player, whether it's a 90 or a 93 or the 95 wildcard players, um, you know, you wanna get one of the cards from the other conference, not the one you picked first, because that's going to unlock the other side of events. So you can start playing them as well. There's just the rest of your milestones. Eastern Conference, exactly the same. There you have it. 
All right, we're moving on to the store. Man, this store doesn't look complete. Um, I missed this part of Nick's stream. Looks a little weak here, so hopefully there'll be more to the store when it drops in game tomorrow on Monday. But obviously you can get some of these very valuable wildcard tokens either with 30,000 coins. So if you got 10 of them a day, that's 300,000 coins per day or with 150 NBA cash. You can also do a two for one on points for the milestones, a thousand each for 200 NBA cash. And then there is a boomer bust set for 4,500 to try to get one of the wild card 95s. You can do that four times a day. There's a conference final bundle here, but again, to me, this doesn't look like the full store. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see what we get tomorrow. Unless something has changed or changed during the course of the promo, which I seriously doubt, uh, this one is going to be grindable. No money spent to Clay Thompson. And it's going to be, you know, a reasonably priced promo for spenders all the way to Clay Thompson. All right, guys, so good luck with this promo starting tomorrow. This is definitely one that you want to grind. No money spent. As far as I'm concerned, it's definitely one spenders uh, want to grind and spend on in order to complete. For me, while I just got 101 Carter, this doesn't bother me very much because as I've said before, Clay Thompson is one of my three favorite players. One of the others is no longer in the playoffs. Sigh. And one of the others is uh, gonna be playing against the Warriors, right? He's on the map. So once more, attack this one. You're gonna be able to finish it. And good luck to everybody in the conference finals. All right, guys, it's over, it's done. We're out of here, there's no more. And remember, good luck with this promo and peace out.